That is the advice of motorists to their colleagues at the Iko Okon Akaba field section of the Kalaba Itu Federal Highway, where a fallen truck is being towed and traffic builds up almost immediately. Here, passengers alight from vehicles to lighten up before they cross to the other side, and those who don't risk pain for their stock vehicles to be pulled out by residents. Motorcyclists, motorists, and even those on foot are calling for governments to intervene. People coming down, up and down here have been stopped because the road is not motorable. But the government should quickly intervene and see how they can sort out this problem. Because without this access road, we have a lot of goods that have been produced from this locality. But they cannot have access to the township, so where they can go and sell them and make a lot of money to develop the, the economy. We are too suffer here, suffer away there here, no be small. And we get stone here just to pour small rifle, gravels for, here, for us here, may we take pass. No, no way. So we don't know how to do. May government come take over for this thing, I beg. A motorist whose vehicle got stuck also laments while his colleagues wonder why the roads always fail. We go to Econ Young here just about whether two kilometers from here after the power plants. Only to get, stu get stuck in this water. In fact, all the boys here tried to pull me out. It wasn't possible. I remember when this place was as bad as this and there was a time the government invited intervene. Then we could have a place to pass. I want at least something better than that could be done again. Shower road everywhere scatter, scatter. Huh? Well, what are the, we, we benefit, what we benefit from them now? No benefit. We sit there inside Sofanes. We go talk from now till the life end. You know, no improvement. If the money comes, they will call enter inside grave. Go to the chop that side. We don't hear the sofa. We don't pay tax, no more. even even keke, even bike if they pay. But those people where we pay all the caram go enter even. Go they hide, they chop as they like. With the with the server, we see the pay tax. We need what do we tell them? Now then to work, do better thing for themselves with me. All of us join. I had nah, these people, oh nah. This is coming just less than a year after the federal government announced that it has awarded a contract totaling over 50 billion naira for the dualization of the Kalaba Itwikorakwene Federal Highway as part of East West Road project. Well, however, down here, you still see fallen trucks, fallen vehicles, sport vehicles all around. And just as you see behind me here, it's a very sad situation as some indigents and locals around walk around barefoot, which poses a health challenge for some of them. But the question remains, when will the roads be repaired? When will the contract awarded come into effect? And for how long will the roads last? They was did I tell when my father died. My father died. Me, I don't come. I go see come down. They see they award up. We say what did they award? Nah. When um, Donald Duke was here as a governor, you know, he relocationally he will bring limestone down here, you know. After a period, maybe about twice in a year, you know, just to help people, uh, passengers to have effective uh, this thing. But it is not so with the present government. I personally feel that they should at least talk to, they know the people that they awarded the contract to. They should talk to them and I mean, to help us uh, come out of this situation. Motorists out here, including uh, our commercial ones and private, as well as motorcyclists, are still calling on the federal government to make sure that the road is motorable as they go into the yellow tide season. For Cross River Watch TV, I'm Jonathan Ugba.